What's the difference between AI agents versus workflow automations? In this video, I'm going to walk through a real world example so you can understand the difference and decide which one is right for your business. But imagine your business has a customer support bot and it needs to process billing requests such as canceling a customer subscription, refunding their payment, applying a promotion code. The standard way to handle this is to have a separate workflow automation or a separate branch in your mega workflow to handle each of those scenarios. The first one handles applying a promo code, the second row handles canceling a subscription and issuing a refund, and the third row is to recreate a messed up subscription. But now here's an AI agent built in N8N that handles those three use cases plus many more. And all I had to do to set it up was hook up the tools that it has access to. So you can think of each API call to Stripe, my billing processor, each one of those is a tool. The AI agent dynamically analyzes the task I give it, plans what to do next, decides which tools to use and in what order, and then executes one action at a time while reflecting on the outcome of each action. For example, if something failed, should it retry the same action or try something different? So instead of having to build like many of these paths to handle all kinds of scenarios, you just build one AI agent that has access to the tools it needs to be able to process billing requests, and the agent decides how to handle each request that comes in. The biggest challenge is related to AI agents today. Number one is reliability and hallucinations. Number two is cost and performance. Number three is security. And number four is interoperability, which is what MCP is tackling. Your automation requires high reliability and proposes significant business risk if something goes wrong, then a non-agent traditional workflow is the safer choice.